Testing, 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 testing. Testing! Ah! Ow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in pineapple. We're building a house with items I barely use or dislike. I wouldn't say hate. Hate is such a strong, strong word. And as you can see, I have done this a few times already, you know, three years ago and two years ago. As you can see, items I barely use with items I barely ever use. Like what? We're getting new furniture sets, you know, from time to time. And I love all of the new recent ones. But, um, you know, the ones from back then, I don't like. I'm sorry, Coppletis. Maybe Froggy. Sorry, Froggy. <laughs> just kidding. I need a house to actually decorate, you know, with these items. So, um, be right back. I'm gonna make one. Should I, should I build one on camera? I don't know. I'm gonna snap my fingers like magic. Um, three, two, one, go. Okay, I just realized if I'm building a house with items I barely use, that goes for windows and I wouldn't say roofs. I'm gonna exclude roofs out of this because I'm just gonna use a flat roof, but, um, I'm gonna include windows for this. So we're gonna, we're gonna start here. This is a good one. But anyways, um, we're gonna be building a modern house this was my inspiration it's a um house floor plan it's not a real house it's just like a 3d i think it's a house design it looks very real though i will say but we are going to do something very similar to this how about these wide modern windows i feel like we could make some good use of this and you can rescale it this is going to be the fun part yeah like that big and then we just repeat it on the top like that that looks so good i don't know if i want to do that okay we'll just we'll just do that for now can I like put it over here too? Oh, I don't use this one. Should I use this one? I wish they had this, but a little bit less wide. Yeah, less wide. I'll just do the sleek class railing. That's just, that's just how it's gonna be. Okay. You know, the front, I'm not gonna do too many different things. We're using basic shapes. Okay, we're just gonna like make a nice little porch thingy. Yeah, that doesn't look the worst. Okay, let me connect this back and then make it a little bit lower. Another step that's lower than this and we're all good on that. Perfect. And I kind of want to do a thing where it's like, it's that corner of the street. So I'm going to add like a little very round sidewalk just to imitate that picture. Just, I'm really just going for this picture. I'm really going to do this picture. I'm actually not decorating the house right now. I'm going to do, I'm doing this weird landscaping that probably won't matter, but we'll see what happens. That's already a good little, like, it looks like I'm building a town, but I'm not. This is a challenge. What's wrong with me? Let me get a quick roof. I'm going to separate it. So this one will be like... A little bit taller, another one going this way, a little bit lower for this. I don't know how I feel about it, but anyways, yep, that's a, that's a modern house if I'd ever seen one. I don't like this fence anymore, but you know what? I don't use it that much. And also, I'm going to add another modern door for this balcony. We're going to use a different one. Maybe a, uh, oh, use that one. I use this one a lot. Oh, wait, I don't, do I use this? I don't really use it. This is the one I don't use. Yep. I can't do modern. I love, I actually like modern houses. I just can't make them. <laughs> That's my problem. Uh oh, no. Okay, first off, before I do the windows, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and start a, start making a floor plan for this house. Let me get my stairs. What are, what? Okay, wait, which stairs do I not use ever? To use these suspended stairs. Oh, we're gonna have a moment where the, the kitchen can be here. I just love my, you know, under the, you know, I love the kitchen next to the stairs moment here. So this will be my kitchen. But on the side, I think I should put a bathroom would be fine there. <laughs> a bedroom there. And then we could have a bedroom here. Oh, that's a weird bedroom, but it'll do. And then a bathroom here. Boom. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom upstairs. Okay, floor textures don't count. We're not counting floor textures either. I'm just gonna go wood grain. Uh, allow me to have at least one sort of nice thing. I feel like I use all of these fairly, like, often. I, I've definitely used the modern one a lot recently. I'll use the traditional one. This is where things get a little messed up looking. You know, I had the vision of a modern house, but we got traditional counters. This is fine. It's like a mix. It's very, um, oops, not the right one. We can still make it look modern. Just change up the colors. Easy. Oh yeah, this, we can do like the wood grain, wood grain countertops. Oh yeah, that still looks modern. Wait, <laughs> wow. Kitchen sink. Um, I don't use this. I don't use actual kitchen sinks, so I'm gonna go with, maybe I'll use the elegant one. Sure, elegant would fit fine. I also kind of want to put like one of those, um, cooktops over here and i'll use the pro chef one that's a weird kitchen but you know i feel like it will be fine it'll be fine okay let's go into the stools and pick out i just gotta color it you know like as long as you color it 
it will look fantastic. I'm gonna like rotate them like slightly, to give it a bit of more realistic vibe. There you go. And I'll do the tall ones, you know, the tall traditional cabinets. I don't know what to use that. How about this? Ooh, a large metal hood. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, um, basic hood. Ew. I'll just combine it. I'll just combine it. It probably won't look as bad, right? Now listen, there's only two types of microwaves. I've been using both, so I'm just gonna go with the one that looks the best. There's no other versions of these things like the kettles and stuff. I mean, hey, let's use the kitchen light kettle. That one I don't use for sure. There's only two types of coffee makers. I use both, so I, I guess I'll still go with this. Toaster? Oh, which one I don't use? Okay, I also don't use the kitchen light toaster. All right, that's an interesting kitchen. Ooh, look at this. Like, this looks like a wasp nest. This is what I call the wasp nest light, so I'm gonna use this. It does give a good amount of like, does fill up the room with a quite a bit of light. So that and maybe a traditional chandelier over there. This is going to be the um, dining table area. I'm going to put the dining table here. Lace match the theme. There we go. That actually looks pretty decent. That looks so weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, <gasps> I should add another. Oh, yeah, that is definitely unique. Oh, yep, that's unique. We'll keep that going. All right. All right, you know what? That is a solid kitchen. Mm, I mean, I could use more decorations, actually. Any more decor or dining and kitchen. Let's move on to random things for the living room. Now, I really, I'm going to move the door here. I'm just going to put the door there. Okay, I'm going to use the oval arm chairs. Because why not? And I may even use the oval chair. I'm going to use the oval chair again. Ew! <laughs> it looks comfortable, though, actually. Not going to lie. Even if I like texture it differently, maybe it'll be better. It's really hard to like this right now. How about some like leaf texture? Sure, that will work. And then let's get a coffee table. Modern coffee table. And for floor lamps, I'm gonna go with modern hairpin floor lamp. Sure. What? There's what, two ways to control these lights? What? Items I barely use or dislike. I'm gonna try and use something I dislike just for the fun of it. How about um wide curved window? Boom. Where is this house direction going now? I don't know. And I'll do like a a, a commercial rubber mat right in front, right there. Just something you put in like a kitchen or something, right? I'm gonna put it out here. Oh, wait, how about a heart mat? Okay, it's almost Valentine's. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's get some like picture frames then. Oops, I'm like putting the most random thing. The oval couch set is something I dislike and these windows I dislike, but I feel like overall the house will be stuff I barely use, so. Don't know if I'll include that in the title. We'll see with how many more things I include. Okay, bag of money. Like when? Do you I don't know. I'm just gonna add a bag of money. Okay, let's work on this like entry area. I might make this like ooh. I should make this a get ready area. Okay, let's get some benches then. And I will say I don't use the stylish one that much. I mean, at this point, I feel like I should just make the house just all white snow. Like everywhere should be white. Yeah, I don't have to worry about textures that much. We'll just do that. Ooh, the evergreen. Evergreen. Evergreen, I'll use this. You know what? That's our entry area. There's not a whole lot, like, there's not too much going on, but, um, I'd say that's still fairly decent. I will say this whole, like, area is kind of set. Okay, let's work on the bathroom now. This modern corner bath. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna put it right here. Then we can get, like, um, a rounded modern wall toilet that goes right there. I feel like that's more of, like, a public bathroom thing, but gonna use it. And then for the sink, it's a very bad spot actually to put a bathroom. I'm just gonna steal a plant, put it in the corner. I don't even bother using the subcategories anymore. I'm just going into all and searching up whatever I find. Okay, elegant, we'll put elegant to that. And for good reasons, like, oh my gosh, it's tiny. It really depends on where you use this, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to put like multiple of those down. <laughs> okay, I'll do that, that looks really weird. And um, like you would get out of the tub on either like both sides here. You wouldn't get out where the faucet is, right? You would get out like on the sides, I would think. And then this whole, this big old snowflake could be like there. And um, I'm gonna steal the trash can. The trash can, we're gonna put this in the bathroom as well. You need this. We definitely need plants in here. There's, there's, gotta, there's gotta be some plants, like some shelving. Hold on. I know just the one to use, the glass shelf. Yes, we can probably put like our hygienic supplies and stuff in here and plants, even more plants. I'm gonna put a horizontal bar here as well for accessibility and if like you have elderly or anyone with disabilities this, this is the perfect part to include for this build okay that's the bathroom it's very interesting um i need towels wait wait hold on i need towels let me get towels oh i don't remember last time i used this can i have that these towel stands yes <laughs> let's use that 
There you go. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the second floor now. We have a few more rooms to decorate, um, but so far I feel like the house is full of furniture I that you wouldn't normally see in my other builds, right? Let's do a shower for the upstairs. We got a bathtub going on the downstairs bathroom. <laughs> yeah, sure. That will do. Okay, nice. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to add a commercial rubber <laughs> kitchen mat. Kitchen. Keyword, kitchen mat. But w what makes you think that you can't use it for a bathroom too, right? Like, psh. Ooh, a plunger would be really cool. Okay, I don't use the basic plungers anymore. Now that we got the fancy plunger. Now that we get the fancy plunger. Yeah. Ooh, I want to add this for fun. Just for decoration. We'll add that and maybe a, a wall wedge floating shelf. All right, that bathroom up here is done. Let's move on to the bedrooms and then we have the landing. Okay. What's a good single bed that I don't use? Uh, the standard? <laughs> Ew. <gasps> the industrial pipe single bed. I'm going to have two dressers, okay? But I want to like shape it like that and then put like a TV on this too so you can watch TV on this. Okay. I wish I could change the keycaps like on the keyboard. It's just yellow no matter what. I actually don't know how to decorate with these. That's why I don't use it. It's because I don't know how to actually make it work. And this thing looks like a bee as well. Like, hello? Can you see the vision? Like, this is like the body of the bee. This is like the... The mouth. Now you just need like a stinger right there, but not all bees have stingers, right? And like, only bumblebee workers and queens have a stinger. As in the case with the honeybees, lost. Okay, that's your random fun fact of the day. Only bumblebee workers and queens have a stinger. You guys learned something today, guys. My channel is educational. <laughs> My channel is educational because I googled it. Ooh, this shelf is something as well. Like it's oh wow, wow. I love it. I love this room though. Um, maybe this could be like a gray bedroom. I'm gonna use a color wheel to make it like a nice shade. Oh, I kind of like this room, sort of. That's good. Um, maybe some pictures. Okay, I feel like I'm done. I don't want to do anything else with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Last area to decorate is the landing. <laughs> just put carpets and call it a day. La la la, I'm going to add a carpet. You know, I don't use the sophisticated section, so we're going to use this. Do two of those, and then let's get like a corner, and then this like, this thing here, and then let's get a corner. Oh wait, what's that? That's too big, that couch is too big now. Hold on. Get out, get out of here. Okay, wait, you stop connecting everything else. You're not, you're not wanted, okay. How about we just like not put anything in it and call it minimalist, you know, like okay. actually minimalist modern minimalist We actually did a fairly decent amount. All right I'm going to add some more windows on the other parts of this house now and we do a bit of landscaping and that will be it take a Look, let's take a look at our window options here. All right I'm actually going to put landscaping on the site to hide this really um, Terrible part of the the house the coconut palm trees. I'm adding one of those. Ooh make it larger too. Wait, this would be so nice to have. I don't know, I'm just shoving a bunch of trees around. Okay. California. Yay, California. California. Fairly is the idea. Fairly. Okay, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Much better. Okay, I think my job here is complete. All right, guys. Well, my modern house is done with items I um, barely use or dislike. I may not have too many too many disliked things in here, but it's definitely a switch up. This is the only good view is the front. The, the others, um, there's a bunch of trees here. Uh <laughs> Remember, it's stuff I barely use, so I can't use stuff I normally use. So the back looks like that, and then this whole thing is decorative. So it's go ahead and explore. I actually like this whole like front entrance though. Like it's pretty neat. I like the steps up to the front door, but when you go in. That is a big door. Oh my gosh. Um, to the very left right here is the bathroom down here. Oh, I got a toilet. You know, everything that you need in such a great looking bathroom. Get ready area. This is the, it's like a wall for something. I don't know. You put like a, a nice painting, something modern for sure. Like you could just type in modern painting and get something abstract. You know, you could do this. Boom. Beautiful. I love the ocean. And then this is the living room. I, I use these oval couches. Um, then you go straight into the kitchen over here, which is very modern as well. Even though these aren't like modern counters, they're actually traditional set. Using the colors and textures make them look modern. It actually worked out fairly well. And look at this dining table. Oh my gosh, this clear glass dining table. Moving on to the upstairs with these like interesting stairs. I guess that's the support for this is like, yeah. Anyways, walking up here, you have like a second living room that like stares out into the open, you know, with this window, giant window here. Um, no TV, you know, you gotta look at nature. You gotta connect, come back down to earth by looking out here. Uh, I don't know what to do with these landing areas, so I just... 
I call it minimalist, so there's nothing in here. Um, but the first bedroom here, this is the gray room. Got a lot of grays uh, and stuff, so I really like it. it. I like it a lot, and it has its own little balcony. I didn't put any chairs out here, I actually forgot about it, but to keep with the minimalistic modern vibe, there's nothing out here. You can just stand and stare out there. And then this is the second bathroom of the house, which I actually kind of like this one more than, I don't know why. I'm weird. This is strange. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We go to the last room of the house. This is the blue room, I like to call it. Pretty much a similar vibe to the other one, but just blue and it's canopy bed. So that's the um, other room. And that's my house, actually. That. But anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's Bloxburg video. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, inspiring, make sure to uh, leave a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say about this house, but it looks decent. Yeah, it's decent.